Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome, welcome. I'm Emily Smiley. Welcome to Hot Topic Tuesday. I'm so excited that you are tuning in. I'm excited to share uh, with you guys today. I am in the middle of cooking up a storm. It's the week of Thanksgiving. So I wanted the topic to be on thankful um, and very positive, uh, even though it is a hot topic. Um, and that's thankful for the strategies, the how-tos of the business and three must-haves uh, that you must have that uh, my mentors have shared with me and I'm super excited to share with you. Um, I wanted to ask first a question that I want you to think about if you understand the difference in these in your business. Uh, do you know the difference between a tactic and an actual strategy? And I ask that because I certainly did not really think about uh, or delve into in any depth the difference between these and when I stopped to think about it, it really made sense. Um, a lot of us use tactics for building our business, uh, but not necessarily a duplicatable strategy, right? How many of you guys have heard, um, you know, yes, you need to build online. Are you told how? Uh, yeah, I am told to build a curiosity post. Most people build their curiosity post. Were you told how to put up the curiosity post? The strategy of how to do it? Um, you know, this could be applied to anything. It, have you used the tactic to, you know, I want to build online. Oh, I'm building online. That's your tactic is that you're going to build online. But you don't have the strategy or the roadmap to do so. Or maybe, you know, you, you used to have a strategy and you were like, well, um, I give home parties. That is my tactic. I'm going to build, you know, belly to belly, person to person, three foot rule of prospecting. And um, I have a strategy in place for that or I don't have a strategy in place, right? It, it doesn't matter where you apply it. There is a difference of a tactic and a strategy. So let me ask you another question that most of us have been told. Um, you know, have you ever been told you just need to find more people? right? Like you're literally told the same thing on coaching over and over and over. You just need to find more people. You just haven't found the right person. Um, have you ever been told this? Were you told how to find those people? Well, just go out and do it. Just, just go out and find new people. There's people in the world. There's all these people in the world. But were you told how to find the right people? Well, you just haven't found the right people. You're like, well, I'm talking to people, but you, you just need to find the right people. Have you ever been told that? And so you're out there looking for the right people, but you, and that's your tactic is I'm looking for the right people, but you don't necessarily have a strategy for how to find the right people, right? People appreciate the truth when they are joining your team. And um, I hope that gone are the days, because I speak with a lot of people from different companies, um, I hope that we're no longer saying, well, you just have to share with three people who share with three people who share with three people and then you're, you're there, right? Bam. And we're going to talk about that in a minute because how many of you have ever sat by yourself at a company event with no team there and someone that's joined way after you blew past you in the ranks and you're going, what do they have that I didn't? I'm willing. I'm coachable. What is the difference? Oh, you just didn't talk to enough people. And it's frustrating. You're literally left there feeling like you, you're somehow inept, that you haven't done something. Uh, when that's not necessarily the case and they have something vital that you probably don't have and that I definitely didn't have. Um, and I will get to that in a minute. So, uh, and not saying, oh, I hope my internet, it's being weird, you guys. Um, you know, if you're taught that it's a numbers game, share with more people, you know, it's not. How to share online with people, how to find more people, how to use social media. Um, otherwise, if they can't tell you the how-to, it's a little bit of the blind leading the blind, right? Like, uh, so that's why we started this page, right? It's, okay, I want to build online. Oh, totally support you. Don't know how to teach you how to do that. Um, well, our team is doing this, okay? Great, can you teach me how to do that? Well, you just do this. You just you just go out and you talk to people and you use Messenger. Don't you know how to use Messenger? No, actually I don't. Could you teach me a step-by-step -step strategy for using this? Well, there's not really anything in place, right? There's no duplicatable system for how or what that strategy might look like. Um, so, or maybe even worse, they only wanna share with their team. If you're not making them money 
or you're not talking to enough people, they don't want to coach you, right? They want to work with only those big fish, um, which is a pet peeve of mine because I want the average person to succeed. And 97% of affiliate network marketing, especially network marketing, are not the big fish, right? And um, a lot of people quit for that reason. The expectations are not set, um, the strategies are not clear, and if you don't come in with the right people, then you are probably going to struggle a little bit and they just don't know what to do with you. It really is sometimes the blind leading the blind. So, three things that you absolutely need. You need to find the right people. Not just people, not just your waiter. It's not saying that you can't share as you're out and about, but if you're trying to build wide and deep and this like sustainable business and you've now decided that you wanted to go online, you have to know the how to find the right people, not just coach your team to, well, just go find new people. Just go find new people to talk to, you know, spam groups and get on Facebook and join a gym all with the priority of, you know, somehow creating this relationship so that they know, like, and trust you and you can pitch your product and your opportunity to them. Uh, not only does this take a long time, most people are unwilling to do that these days, which is why a lot of times the old school methods don't work. And then how many of you have ever been told this? Well, it worked for me. This is what I did. Just sacrifice right now for later. The problem is most people are not going to do that. And just because it worked for me and you're like, well, this is, you know, maybe your team is telling you, well, this worked for me. People are different. They probably don't have number two, which is how to build an influence. So first is how to find the right people. The second one is how to build an influence. And then the third is how to expand your skills um, or basically building on social media, sharing, closing the deals, all those skill sets that are involved of the how to when they just, when you're told to do something, but you're not told how to do something and you don't have the strategy for that. So the first is how to find the right people. Well, you have to uh, set the expectation with your team that not everyone is going to be interested, right? We said 97% um, quit. The mentors, a lot of times only wanna work with the big fish. So if you're not making them money, the average person quits and the average mentor quits. That is just a reality. So to find the right people, example, you would need a strategy, especially if you were building online, so instead of saying, you know, build your friends and your family list, right? How many of you have been told, like, build your list of friends and family? Then literally in the same sentence, uh, um, some people have been told, well, most of my team did not even come from this list. So it, this is just your starting point. Well, if it's just your starting point, you've already told me that this doesn't work. Why is this your only strategy, only strategy that you've been given, right? So why are we starting with the friends and family list? because there is no strategy in place for finding the right people, right? So the second, how to build an influence. Um, earlier I said, you know, have you been at the company, you know, convention or conference where this person just blows past and you're like, what are they doing that I haven't? And basically you may or may not been told in so many words that you just didn't talk to enough people. You just didn't want it bad enough. You didn't sacrifice enough. You know, you're told in this business, you can make it whatever you want. But then when you don't make it to the top, you're told that you just weren't willing to do what it takes. Well, most likely those people came in with an advantage that most people are unwilling to talk about, and that is influence. They have an influence, whether it's through their profession, whether it's that they, you know, have a community of friends and family that, you know, not just know and like them, because we all have people that know and like us, but trust us, not, uh, you know, enough to be in business or to buy from you. And some people, you know, if you've been in multiple network marketing companies, your list is no longer viable. They don't know, they know and like you, but they no longer trust you. So, you know, how many of you have ever been into multiple businesses where you're like, I cannot, I've had, I've had team this. They've, they've literally quit because they said, I want to do this. I want to share this, but I have burned through, you know, my warm market, my friends and family list. I simply cannot bring this to them anymore. Is there another way to do it? And at the time I had no idea what to tell them. How do you teach a person to build a business in network marketing from scratch when they've told you that they don't want to start with their friends and family list? They want to ditch the list, 
right? And this matters because you need that influence and that's why they're able to get through those ranks because they maybe have what most of us don't, a large circle or sphere of influence. You know, and maybe you say, well, and you know, my team or upline or mentor or coach or whatever said, you know, well, they're just, I'm just a mom and I made it. Okay, you could say that, but somewhere you still have a circle of people that are with you, whether it's customer, team, or whatever, that know, like, and trust you, and you came in with that. So how do we help the average person who comes in that does not have that influence factor, that does not have that, the, the find the right people? They don't know how to find, find the right people. How do we help them get there? Well, you cannot say it worked for you because people are different and they come in differently. And it's not an excuse for them to come to you and go, well, okay, how do I find more people? Well, you just go out and you just, you know, make friends. But they've been building that friendship base forever. If you're starting from scratch, you can't build it up to say, well, they made it, right? I'm so tired of the big fish getting used as the model when the fact is 97% of what's left in the industry is still not successful. Less than like a half of a 1%. So we have to change the standards of what we're saying with our strategies in what duplicates. Number one, it's changed. And number two, there are factors that are involved that need to be addressed and stop being skimmed over because it absolutely matters. So maybe you don't have a lot of influence or you don't know the right people, but can you learn those? Yes, you absolutely can. Can you learn to find the right people? Yes. Can you learn to build online? Yes. Can you build an influence of people that know, like, and trust you? Yes. Can you, on the third, expand your skill set? Can you close the deal? So I see two types of this. A lot of times, um, we, I've seen people train their teams to where they literally, the team needs to be involved to close the deal. So that person actually never learns the skill set involved to close the deal. Or when they take over that, that, that work, right? They quit because you've been doing it for them and now you're not. And now like, so you've kind of like been pulling these tire kickers along that really are not the go-getters and the entrepreneurs in your brain that in your team that you want, right? So it matters that you're telling them that. The other is, is are you actually teaching them to fish instead of just giving them the fish, right? And are you teaching them to share and to build on social media and how to do that? Not just saying, well, just throw up a curiosity post and this is what it should look like. When in fact, most people still do it wrong. They're just still posing with their product or they're still just like, Hey, and they'll just put their product out there with, this is the sale, let me know. Or, hey, this is my opportunity, you know, join me, five people, I have five spots or whatever. Like, we know you don't have five spots. We know if 50 people contacted you, you're not gonna turn anybody down. People know this, people are smart consumers. So it's gotta be different, right? <laughs> Thanks for the likes. Um, yeah, we, we know different. So you have, you can no longer use those tactics of saying, oh, just throw it up there. How many of us have scrolled right through social media because you see that, oh, join me opportunity, when in fact, you know, one, people look at that and go, well, they have, I don't have that kind of influence. So they've already checked you off. Or they maybe don't even know, like, or trust you that well. And so you have really no credibility and you're just pissing people off. Right, that's where expanding your skill set really pays off. Because if you don't have the skill set for closing the deal and connecting with people, building online doesn't do jack squat. If you're, I'm building online. Yeah, well, how many people are you actually following up and connecting with? How many people are reaching out to you? If you're posing or posting with a product and you hear crickets and the only people that are, that are liking or you know commenting underneath is your team or people already in the company, First few to get a person off the ground for some credibility, that's fine. But after a while, I know that Susie, whatever her name is underneath, is part of your team because she's on every single post that you have. Like people don't fall for that anymore. So you have to learn the new and you have to expand the skill sets, right? So you have to know how to find the right people. You have to know how to build the influence and you have to know how to expand your skill sets. So instead of giving different tactics, you need to give the how to for it. You need to help everyone.
not just the big fish on your team, not just those that are, you know, making you money. Can you give the how to, to everyone? Because what I see a lot of happening is this person comes in already with a large influence. So I give my how to that worked for me to this person and they, they fly with it. They do well. This person is struggling. So I'm just going to continue to beat the dead horse over here by just telling you, you know, stay at it, like find more people, just keep talking to people. It's a numbers game. And that's really all you're able to give them. Nothing new is coming out of that conversation or that coaching call or anything else that's happening there because that person has no longer expanding their skill set and they're feeling defeated and they're feeling like, what am I doing wrong? Instead of coming alongside of them and going, all right, I recognize that your sphere is longer and this may take a little longer because you don't have this, but this is what we can do. Let's start on building your influence. Let's start on using your skills and building that know, like, and trust because most people on social media are building with their product pitch first, then they want to make the sale and then they try to expand their influence and reach new people. Oh, can I post on your page, my product and business? No, you may not. No, you may not. Not interested in that. It should be completely reversed. Expand the influence, give some value, contribute to that person, leave that person better than you found them, build that no like, and trust, and then you can pitch them your product or your sale or your opportunity or your whatever. And yes, this takes time and most people are not willing to do it, but it is a skill set involved. So stop saying that you can build how they did or build and then micromanaging them and saying, well, it's my way or the highway. This is how we do it. And you know, don't entrepreneurs want choices. That is why entrepreneurs, true entrepreneurs at heart, that is what they want. And there is no one set works for all rule. It's just like diets. Do, do they all work? Maybe. Is there one diet for every single person that works? Absolutely not. Are there many ways to get there? Yes, there are many ways to get there. So you have to present the options. They, people want choices and you have to set those expectations and stop using one big fish as your model example because you've lost 97% of your team who get frustrated because they didn't come in with the skill set or the influence that it took this person maybe years of and people earn that like those people that come in and it looks like they rank advanced like this like kudos to them they didn't they didn't um win that company trip they earned it they absolutely earned it but maybe those skill sets that took that or that influence that they brought in you have no idea what they came in with and recognizing that you may or may not have that and changing that mindset into doing whatever it takes to get the skill set and the actual strategy will completely change the way that you grow and build your business. I feel like that's a drop the mic mode, right? So instead of teaching post the product, curiosity post, tacticals, right? Let's start expanding our influence, our skill set, and thinking more along the strategy because it really does matter. And when you're building online, you have to still develop the no like, and trust just like you would, uh, t talking to every single person. Why is it ineffective to talk to your waitress or whoever? Because it's just like doing a cold call. That person doesn't know you from Adam. They, they have zero no like, and trust. It is the same when you're building online, you have to develop the, not just the tactical, but the big picture strategy. Because it's otherwise it's not going to end up to be a long-term sustainable business. So I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope these three um, things, if you come away with them, um, just to recap, how to find the right people, you need a strategy for that. How to build influence, you need a strategy, not a tactic for that. Uh, how to expand your skill set, especially since we focus more on online and social media. This is important. You cannot throw up a curiosity post to the same people over and over and over and over and over and expect to get different results. It's probably not going to happen. And you're probably making people more angry than you are in getting orders and getting people reaching out to you. So, um, I did want to, uh, invite you guys. We are doing a black Friday, like social media training, 
Uh, it's called Social Media Enroller. It is limited spots. So if it's something that you're interested in, let me know. If not, that's fine. Take your notes away from today. Um, but if you are recognizing, you're like, this is this makes so much sense, and like I need more strategies, more specific skill sets for duplicating in my network marketing company. Um, I can send you a link for the social media enroller. Um, it is time sensitive. It is also limited. Um, but it is teaching new strategies and new system for using in any uh, in any um, network marketing team or business. It works in all of those. Um, Witt and Carrie are going to be the trainers inside of this. They are amazing. Uh, they really were the people that went, that joined their network marketing company, that t literally like would drive from Utah to Vegas to talk to more people and tr and just went through the numbers of it. And didn't rank advance at all and had no like 12 months later had no team no like one order I think um, and they recognized and they realized that the one thing that they were lacking was the skill set and the influence of the no like and trust and once they decided on you know a strategy for how to do that their their business has skyrocketed they are one of the leaders in their company um, just within the last year they are amazing. Oh, such a great couple. And I'm excited to hear their training on Friday. They are amazing. Um, so if this is something you're interested in, reach out, let me know. Otherwise, uh, I will talk to you guys on the flip side of Thanksgiving. So uh, those of you in the States, happy Thanksgiving, and I will talk to you soon. In the meantime, get out there and crush it.